Okay, so I'm going to talk about if you're having buffering issues or slow internet speeds on your Amazon Fire Stick, uh, Kodi, Exodus, your different add-ons for watching video. Um, if you're having this problem, the very first thing that I, bit of advice that I can give you is to turn off your modem and your router, make sure there are no lights on, leave them unplugged for at least 15 minutes. Uh, you want them to be able to cool down. Then first turn back on your modem, uh, let all those lights come back on, then turn on your router and let those lights all come back on. Um, then you can make sure using another device that your internet is actually on and working. Um, then you can come back to your Kodi device and see if that really helped with your speeds. Um, we do that here every few days. Um, I read on TV Add-On's website that they actually do theirs every night whenever they are done using the internet. Um, and then they turn it back on in the morning and they have a fresh, fast internet connection. Um, I've, I've had it explained to me that it's kind of like a, a, a queue, you know, you get people in line, I don't know. But anyways, um, if you do that and you're still having problems and you have this Amberville um, this is, I, there is something else I can show you, uh, change some settings in here in order to fix it. The other build, um, like the Hyper TT or the Ultra TT that I've been using recently, I've already changed these settings in there, but um, if you have this Amber build and you would like to try something else to see if you can make the buffering stop, um, this is what you can do. Um, you can go to where it says add-ons and then drop down to where it says programs underneath add-ons and click on programs and then you're going to click on program add-ons and scroll down to the bottom where it says get more and then you're going to scroll down the list until you find an add-on called easy advanced settings they're in alphabetical order usually. Okay, click on that. Um, I already have it installed. Um, first, you're gonna go down to the bottom and install it on yours. Um, once it's installed, you can scroll up and go to open. Then we're gonna go to edit settings, which is at the top. Um, then we're gonna go down to the bottom and click on network settings. Then network, and then we're going to go to cache mem buffer size. It should say disabled. You're going to have to delete disabled and type in the following numbers, which I will type these in the comment section so that whenever you go to do this, you know, you can find, find it easily. But uh, the numbers are 419-430-400 and then go to done. Um, then drop down on the next one um, and go to buffer mode. And you're going to change that to a 1. And then go down to read buffer factor, which also says disable. Click on that. Um, delete disable and type in 4.0. And click done. Then we're going to hit the back arrow. Back arrow. Back arrow and go to write XML file. Then we can go down to view active advanced settings.xml and click on that. And this will tell you that the changes that you just made are active. And then you're done. And you can back out of all of this and go back to your main screen and give it a try and, and see if that helps stop some of your buffering. Uh, thanks for watching, I really hope this helps you.